So I finally got my hands on one of the haymaker saws from Pepe Tools, and I'm going to show you how well it cuts and what I think about it. So let's get started. So this is the Haymaker. It is a collaboration between Pepe Tools and Lion Punch Forge. It is a aluminum framed, aluminum handled, and balanced saw frame. But let's see if this matters when actually cutting. It's supposed to basically make it so you can hold this without having strain in the back of it trying to fall backwards on you or falling forwards, which would actually make your saw line start to go forwards or backwards. I've never noticed this in the past, but it's never been a thing that's came up. And just so you can see the difference, I have a, another just standard jeweler saw frame, the German style one. And if you try to do what I just did with the other one, it does that because it's very heavy in the back here. But like I said, I don't know if that really matters at all. You'll also notice that the Haymaker has these extensions in the front, and I'm assuming that these are for keeping the weight over the center here to make sure it does this. Because I, I can see if you cut these off, it would probably fall backwards. So this top part right here is actually non-functional. It's just supposed to be a claw shape for line punch forge. So if you look at the actual blade connection points, you can see that there are just little wing nuts on both of them that are metal. I guess when this first came out, it had plastic ones and the plastic ones wouldn't hold tight enough or something like that. So it's been fixed and switched over to metal. And from the little bit of sawing I have done with this already, it doesn't really loosen up at all. So that's great. I haven't had any problem yet. So to be 100% transparent with everyone, this was sent to me free of charge along with the saw blades and the metal to basically do what I want with them and make a video like this. I wasn't paid anything to say anything nice. So everything I say is my own thoughts. And of course there's gonna be some sort of a bias because it was free, but I will try to be as non-biased as possible. With that said, let's start actually sawing something and get this going. So for this, I'm going to be using some 20 gauge copper. You can use pretty much whatever gauge you want that goes along with your saw blade, but I'm gonna use 20 gauge. And it is covered in this protective coating that I need to get off. So I'm just gonna peel that off for all you that like to watch the peeling. There we go. Also, if you do get any of these, make sure not to cut yourself like I did because the edges could be sharp. All right, so here we are. And then I'm gonna cut this down to more manageable sizes. So I'm going to be using some three-aught blades. And one cool thing that I realize about these, they actually tell you on here what gauge is there for and all the other info right on the container, which is nice. And there's 144 of them in here. All right, to set your blade, all you need to do is open this just a little bit, just enough so a blade can fit between that. And then just grab your blade, make sure that your teeth are pointing forwards and down and tighten it down. And I, might, I like to tighten it up pretty decent. Do not slide up on this, you'll slice your finger open too. So be very careful. So when it comes to the top one, same thing, open it up just so you can fit this in there. And then you're going to need to push this against something hard and then you can tighten it while you're pressing it. All right, so there we go. It should be in there, all good. And make a nice high pitch noise without much bending to it. So you don't want it to really bend when you press on it. So I actually put two of these together and I use a type of um, sticky label paper to print these onto and then just peel it off and stick it on. And this pattern is something I made that you can download in the description below. So if you wanna try this out or for testing or just for a design or whatever, you go ahead. So with both of these, I'm going to be using the two different saw frames with the same exact blade and then we'll see if there's any difference between the two or 
if there's a different feel to them. And I'll let you know as I'm going through it. These are gonna have a ton of pierce cuts, which means you basically you have to put a hole inside of here because I need to cut out the insides. So I need to mark all of these or make a little indent and then drill a hole in each spot. So when doing this, make sure to use an anvil so you can get nice clean marks and you don't bend your metal. All right, so I'm gonna start with the Lion Punch Forge one. And because this is piercing, I'm gonna have to reset this like a hundred times. So make sure to always lubricate your blade and do it as you're cutting too, because you will need it. I've gotta go all the way to eternity. I will run all the way to see you. I've gotta go all the way through time and space if I'm ever That was actually really smooth. I'm gonna go get a different lens so you could see it real close. No real snags or any like bending or getting caught with my blade. And you can see that I don't cut properly, meaning I don't really move this around as much as I move my saw around. All right, so here it is all cut out using the Lion Punch Forge one. Put this to the side and do the other one. All right, see how this goes. All right, so absolutely no problems. And the blade works amazingly. These blades are really nice actually. So I'm just gonna finish this one out. If I have any problems, I'll stop fast forwarding and let you know. All right, there we go. This one's all done with the German style frame. So let's compare. All right, so here are both of them side by side. This is the line punch one with the LP on it. And this is the German saw frame with the GS. So there's little design differences on there of how I cut them differently. But for the most part, they look very similar in their cut designs besides one little thing on the German one is these little bumps right here every so often and that's because I hit it a little too hard when I was putting all the marks into it for my center punch or with my center punch. Other than that I broke more blades using my German frame than the uh, lion punch. I broke a total of three doing this one and a total of two doing this one, which is five more than I normally break doing something like this. But I think it's because I'm trying to keep everything visible on camera and moving my hands in a way that 
the camera that isn't blocked. But yeah, you will break blades and it happens. So you might be thinking, well, I broke more blades on this one, therefore this one is better automatically. Well, not really, just because, like I said, I'm trying to record this so you could see, and I have to move my hands a little bit differently to make sure I'm not blocking the camera. And I'm able to do things like this normally without breaking any blades on just about any saw I use. So that's really not it. Comfort-wise, the handles are a different size. So this one is thicker, so it has more of a grip to hold on to. But for the most part, when you're holding these, you're lightly holding them. And that's where the balance comes in with this one a little bit more, which it kind of wants to stay upright. And this one kind of wants to fall backwards. So you have to hold it a little bit tighter, but still, it's not that different from this but you can feel a difference when using it, that it's not fighting you. Yeah, comfort-wise, this one is more comfortable to use than a German-style one. The weird thing is, it feels heavier than a German one, but I need to actually weigh these and figure it out, so let me go do that. So yeah, the Haymaker is heavier. It is 7.3 ounces, and this comes in at 5.8. So even with this one being a bit heavier, it's still more comfortable to use than this. So one thing that I wish it didn't have with it though is this piece here. It hits on my anvil as I'm cutting if I'm cutting too close to it. So I had to actually extend my bench pen out more to not hit with this. So that is one thing that you might want to think, take into consideration is this will hit on things underneath if you have a tight setup. And as you can see, this has absolutely nothing so you can get as close as you want. So with that being said and everything, should you get the Haymaker or should you just get a standard German frame? Well, it really depends on some factors. One is your budget, of course. If you have no budget at all, this $75 to $100 saw frame is gonna be kind of pricey for you. This, on the other hand, comes in at $25. But there are some drawbacks. This is purely functional for one, which is totally fine and I actually prefer functional things, but it is also just made out of normal steel and it will rust if you don't take care of it, like mine, because everything I have rusts for some reason. So that's something that you're gonna have to take care of eventually and you might have to end up replacing them depending on how bad your rusting goes. Mine is basically just surface rust, so it just looks bad. This on the other hand is made out of aluminum and it is anodized and coated so this is not going to rust at all, and you don't have to even worry about that. This also is solid metal, even the handle is metal. These are wood or plastic, so over time it might degrade, and it just depends. This also is more comfortable in the hand, for me at least. And these both set exactly the same, you basically just push them against your table and put your blade in. So. There's no difference there really. The only advantage this one has is being able to change the size of the uh, blade. If you break a blade, you can use it smaller, but no one does that because blades are cheap enough now that you don't have to do that. It's really gonna be up to you. So I'll have both of these in the description and you can pick whatever one fits your needs. I'm going to be using the Haymaker from probably now on. Due to it feeling better in my hand, and it feeling just more sturdy. Also, these aren't the only saw frames I've ever used. I have pretty much all the major ones that are on the market and I've used them all. And yeah, they each have their own pros and cons to them. So let me know in the comments which one you would use or already use and what you like and dislike about the different frames. So that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, feel free to leave a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this. I have links over here and down here to other videos that you might find helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.